What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, aka Just 10 More Minutes, aka The Freaking 10. We're back again with another video. I'm trying something different this time. Um, because I've got the Wave 3 microphone, um, one of the features that I had forgotten about, and I think it's just a memory thing truly, is the ability to control all of the um, sound differently. So, for example, I can control the volume of what I hear versus what y'all hear very, very easily inside the Wave 3 app. Um, so, just to give you an idea of what that looks like, quite honestly, um, and it's kind of small, but you'll get the idea. This is essentially the Wave 3 in the first one. The second one is the system. Third is voice chat for Discord, gaming, and then an auxiliary port. You can actually control up to seven different devices um, and the volume for those. So what I've done, you'll notice in that second one, is I actually have it way down and then way up. That's actually the system. So I've turned my headphones way down, um, but still allowing the volume that y'all hear within the stream um, and the recording being way up. So I'm going to try that and see if that helps where I can still hear it okay um, and get the feeling for the song while uh, it not, you know, blowing my ears out. I didn't even think about that yesterday. So with that being said, my friends, um, this is the next one. So when I looked at the, the playlist for uh, Clockwork Immortality, um, the last one that we had covered was... Let me just take a quick... Okay, well, let me look. Um, the last one that we had done was Journey to the Other Side. So the next one here is The Final Collision. So I've got that one ready to go. So, without further ado, I'm so excited to hear them again. I, I haven't, I, I took a break. So, you know, when I'm in my truck, uh, or I guess now the Explorer, um, <clears throat> I haven't moved a lot of that music over. Um, I had my playlist on Pandora, but I haven't messed with the vehicle enough um, to get Pandora going and Apple Play or um, Android Car uh, Auto. Um, I haven't got all of that set up yet. So really what I've had on is, um, like the nineties and things like that, just to have a sound in the background, but I've got it low. So my biggest fear with, with having Love Bites, Bandmade, um, Nightwish in those playlists is a lot of the times they'll go in and then add, um those two like like bands right they'll go in and add them or they'll add more songs and i don't want to hear a song that i haven't reviewed yet so um that's why i haven't you know had these on there that's been my biggest fear with that now with that being said i've missed listening to them i've missed their music just like i missed nightwish yesterday i cannot tell you when I when I logged off yesterday, even though my head was it wasn't hurting, it just it it threw off my equilibrium, and I was fine the rest of the day. I got my daughter to her MRI, all of that. Um, well, I shouldn't say fine. It hit me later in the day, as I've said. Um, but <clears throat> I already forgot where I was going with this. Um, yes. When I logged off yesterday and I went back downstairs and laid down, um, I cannot tell y'all how happy I was to listen to Nightwish again, to record for y'all, and to do this what I love. I truly love this. It kills me to not release more videos a day. 
Um, and I said this in my uh, my videos for Nightwish yesterday, and and I'm, I'll say it for for my uh, the the Wolf Pack. Um, not being able to film every day has really bothered me, and that's why I tried to do a health update every day. Is just to stay in that routine because if I didn't, it was upsetting to me. It really was. I love what I do. I love my real world job. But this to me is not a job. I truly freaking love recording for y'all. I love listening to this music for the first time and recording my reaction for y'all and reading the lyrics. I love it. So to be able to do that yesterday and come in here and do that this morning before the day starts and my brain truly starts to kind of overwork itself, I guess. Um, I just want y'all to know how much I love doing this. I, when I say I love it, I love it. Okay, enough of that sappy stuff out of the way. Uh, I'm so happy to be back and doing this for the Wolf Pack. Alright guys, I've got the lyrics. I got the video. I gave Steve the morning off. I'm checking audio myself. Let me just take a quick look here. It looks good here. I'm going to watch it here in the video just to make sure that what I hear in my headphones now that I've turned them way down um, is okay uh, compared to what y'all hear in the stream. And I've got that all set up to monitor. So I'm going to be watching that very closely here at the beginning. And then I'll turn over to the lyrics. So with that being said, my friends, everything looks great. That means that there is only one thing left to do. Let's switch it up. All right. Audio look good on that switch up. Let's get this full screen. All right. I'm ready for it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there. That opening was nice. Um, I did. I had to turn it up for a second because that it, it almost didn't sound like the guitar. It, it sounded almost like, you know, a synthesizer type of effect. Um, but that was on, once the guitars came in, I should say. That was very cool. And I missed her voice. I really did. I mean, it's just... What I've heard in this... On this particular CD... Um, music collection, whatever you want to call it... Is... 
I don't necessarily say I want to. I want to say maturity in her voice because that's not really what I'm trying to come across with. But I've heard so many different cadences from her. Right. I heard if I'm remembering correctly. Was it Mastermind O One? I think the name of it was. Where she went a little bit faster um, than she normally did. Um, you know, and, and she's changed up her cadence a lot on these different songs. That's given me a lot more appreciation for her as a, a singer. Because um, I talk about it all the time, right? Y you can have repetitive lyrics, but as long as you're changing up the styles, you're fine. What I've noticed is she's changing up the styles on on the entire song a lot of the times um and it's it's just a maturity i guess it is really a maturity uh, from some of the other stuff that i've heard where she's always using the same tone um and, and you know trying to throw her power ballad type of singing in there from her background and that's understood i get it right and i love it but I've really seen a difference, and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's get to the lyrics here. I've got them um, super big here. And when I say super big, let me give you all an idea. So just so my eyes aren't straining and killing my head, I literally have them this big. Um, so when I say I'm taking precautions, and so far, I'm good. I, I, this is helping tremendously having it turned down a lot. I, I feel like an idiot for doing that yesterday. Um, we are the opposite, just like the sun and moon. That's a great, that's a really great line. All my opinions, they get under your skin. You always think that you're right, no matter what. Our collisions will never lead to unison. That's a really good line. Our collisions will never lead to unison. Wow. Wow. Think about that in the, the in any government today, right? I don't care if it's the U.S. or overseas. Those collisions that they're having will never lead to unity. Really cool line. Feel all my suffering, just in case you're wondering. I'm leaving it all behind. No need to reminisce. How did we end up like this? I feel the emptiness inside. Nobody knows what is deep within my heart. This will be our final night. This will be our final fight. All this time I couldn't see your eyes. This will be our final night. This will be our final fight. I'll never fall back into your arms. So it's a breakup. Um, or it could be a breakup song. This one's really good. I really like the lyrics in this. And I think I saw... Um, let me go over to the lyrics page. I copied it in a notepad so I could, um, make it bigger, easier, but this was written, I think I saw, so this was written by, uh, Miho. Okay. At least that's what Google says. I really like these lyrics though. Let's keep let's get back to it. Looks like audio is still being I hope it comes across okay. Never should have come getting in the first place. It's not the easy to put on the brave face. You make me question myself in all my thoughts. Our decision.
Okay, so I'm going to stop there because it is a longer song at 5 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, yeah, a lot of the rhyming, again, doesn't fit Asami's style. That's why I had to go look real quick because I didn't think she had written it. Um, it showed me how. And, and much like the one that she wrote about the suffering and loss, which obviously was really weird on that Saturday and then I had the accident. Um, but this is and you can you can tell a lot of the times um a lot of songwriters follow the same type of of style right with the rhyming line rhyming line rhyming line and then you get into the chorus um which is a lot of what she's done here but that's not necessarily a bad thing that's just a type of style um but this tells a very clear story right you can picture this in, in your head. Number one, it makes me mad that, you know, if, if Mio is talking about a personal experience, it, it makes me mad and want to go beat some dude's rear end because he hurt Miho. That's a no-no. Hey, she's too awesome. But the way she tells this story, right, of feel all my suffering just in case you're wondering and she's leaving it all behind and she's picturing it, right? And she's building up that courage and she's building up that strength to walk away from it knowing that one more fight is going to put her over the edge and that's going to be the final night. And she says, maybe we shouldn't have gone in the first place. It's not that easy to put on a brave face. You make me question myself and all my thoughts. Our decision will never be what we wanted. Heal all my suffering. I can't promise anything. I have to let go of you. I know you won't resist. Why did we end up like this? This is the end of all your lies. Nobody knows what tomorrow will bring. This will be our final night. This will be our final fight. I feel the deep hatred from your eyes. This will be our final night. This will be our final fight. I knew you were awful inside. Don't blame me for this ending. There's nothing we can do to fix it. Wow. No one to put me down. Now I am justified. Nothing to hold me down. I don't care anymore. I'm finally free. That is one hell of a story, y'all. She she went from knowing that that was coming to an end to this is the end to no one to put me down. Now I'm justified. Nothing to hold me down. I don't care anymore. I'm finally free. That is a hell of a story. She is one hell of a songwriter. All right, let's let this go. Um, yeah, so they got the guitar solo. I can tell the guitar solos are coming just by how much um, or how few lyrics are left. Um, so let's get back into it and let's let it finish.
Okay. So the last one was this will be our final night. This will be our final fight. All this time I couldn't see your eyes. This will be our final night. This will be our final fight. I'll never fall back into your arms. Don't give me any more pain. Our road split from here on from forever. Don't give me any more pain. Our um, our road split from here on forever. So let me let me switch it back and give you my final thoughts. Okay. This one I cannot wait to be able to listen to it full volume. Um, this is for me. This is gonna go up there with Mastermind O One. Um, I think was the name of it. Forgive me if I'm I'm wrong. Um, this is what I talk about when I, when I've said why I love music and why I love songs. Um, and songwriters is when they can tell an amazing story. This right here would be one that I would listen. I, I would, if I was a, a, an instructor for songwriting 101, which you can't necessarily teach, you can't teach how to turn feelings into lyrics. That's just something for a lot of people that just comes naturally. Um, I would put this song out there as like songwriting 101. This is how you tell a story. She set it up perfectly at the beginning. You know, if I go back and look at this, um, and I'm feeling great, so don't worry. I actually feel a lot better with this song than I did yesterday, and I think that's just because I had it too loud yesterday. I forgot about the app. So I'm feeling good. I'm not overdoing myself. Um, you know, she's talking about we are the opposite, just like the sun and moon. All my opinions, they get under your skin. You always think you're right no matter what. Our collisions will never lead to unison, right? So they're never on the same page. Everything she does kind of annoys them. And so she's getting that courage to just leave. And then she talks about this will be our final night. This will be our final fight, right? And then in the middle, it's kind of 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 her talking to him, right? Maybe we shouldn't have gone in the first place. It's not that easy to put on a brave face. You make me question all my thoughts. Our decisions will never be what we wanted. Heal all my suffering. I can't promise anything. I have to let go of you. I know you won't resist. Why do we end up like this? This is all. This is the end of all your lives. Right? And then she ends it. Don't blame me for this ending. There's nothing we can do to fix it. No one to put me down. Now I am justified. Nothing to hold me down. I don't care anymore. I'm finally free. That is brilliant effing songwriting. That's how you tell a story. You can't get a crystal, uh, a more crystal clear story. This, this is one of my favorites by them. It, it truly is, and I like finding these hidden gems, um, that are not the mainstream favorites. Uh, growing up, I listened to a lot of country, and uh, I was a huge Garth Brooks fan, um, and I was always attracted to the songs that were never played on the radio i loved them all right thunder rolls and all those i loved them but then i found songs you know there's one he did called wolves that's brilliant um but it never really made it into the mainstream so i like finding those hidden gems and mastermind known oh one was like that and this one is too so I just looked over and I saw it was at the 25 minute mark, so I am going to end this one. But this was a brilliant song. I loved it. This is going to definitely go towards the top of my list as far as my favorites for them. Um, 
that this right here could make a brilliant music video if you if you think about the dynamics and the visuals you could put with this of people arguing right and her sitting there just thinking looking out a window and and <clears throat> thinking about getting that strength and and things like that and you know kind of packing up her stuff type of thing and at the end that confrontation and being able to you know don't blame me for this ending there's nothing we can do to fix it and then as she's walking out no one to put me down no i'm justified nothing to hold me down i don't care anymore i'm finally free and her walking out the door right that's how well of a story this tells uh great song absolutely freaking great i'm so glad that this one was next this made my day it truly really did and for for my head not to hurt i'm not gonna push it Trust me that it crossed my mind to go do another video, but I still have the rest of the day. Um, so I'm not going to push myself. I, I did my video. I freaking loved it. I miss these ladies dearly. I truly did. Those onion ninjas are going to come attack me. I missed them. All right. I'm almost to the 30 minute mark on this video. Jeez. Y'all are going to yell at me. But I feel good. I do feel good. Don't worry. Um, but I'll end the video. As always, my friends, I appreciate each and every one of you. And always remember, if somebody asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two, and certainly don't ask for five. If someone asks you to stop what you're doing, always ask for just ten more minutes. I'll see y'all. I am out. KTML.